Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday morning, and we're going back into the letter of Titus this morning just to read it together. Uh, we're going to be starting in chapter 2 at verse 9 and reading through to the end. So let's come and hear God's word. Slaves must always obey their masters and do their best to please them. They must not talk back or steal, they must, but must show themselves to be entirely trustworthy and good. Then they will make the teachings about God our Saviour attractive in every way. For the grace of God has been revealed, bringing salvation to all people. And we are instructed to turn from godless living and sinful pleasures. We should live in this evil world with wisdom, righteousness and devotion to God. Why we look forward with hope to that wonderful day when the glory of our great God and Saviour Jesus Christ will be revealed. He gave his life to free us from every kind of sin, to cleanse us and to make us his very own people, totally committed to doing good deeds. You must teach these things and encourage the believers to do them. You have the authority to correct them whenever necessary, so don't let anyone disregard what you say. Remind the believers to submit to the government and its officers. They should be obedient, always ready to do what is good. They must not slander anyone and must avoid quarrelling. Instead, they should be gentle and show true humility to everyone. Once we too were foolish and disobedient. We were misled and became slaves to many lusts and pleasures. Our lives were full of evil and envy and we hated each other. But when God our Saviour revealed his kindness and love, he saved us, not because of the righteous things that we had done, but because of his mercy. He washed away our sins, giving us a new birth and a new life through the Holy Spirit. He generously poured out the Spirit upon us through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Because of his grace, he made us right in his sight and gave us confidence that we will inherit eternal life. This is a trustworthy saying. I want you to insist on these teachings so that all who trust in God will devote themselves to doing good. These teachings are good and beneficial for everyone. Don't get involved in foolish discussion about spiritual pedigrees or in quarrels and fights about obedience to Jewish laws. These are useless and a waste of time. If people are causing division among you, give a first and a second warning. After that, have nothing more to do with them. For people like that have turned away from the truth and their own sins condemn them. I am planning to, sending, to, to send either Artemis or Titius to you. As soon as one of them arrives, do your best to meet me at Nicolopolis, for I have decided to stay there for the winter. Do everything you can to help Zenas the lawyer and Apollos with their trip. See that they are given everything that they need. Our people must learn to do good by meeting the urgent needs of others. Then they will not be unproductive. Everyone here sends greetings. Please give my greetings to believers, all who love us. May God's grace be with you all. Amen. And that is the end of the letter of Titus. It's a, an interesting short little letter, isn't it? Um, there's so much packed into it from start right to the very end. One little bit I want to zoom in on is in chapter 3, verse 4. It starts off with the word but, or however. And then it goes on to say, Our God and Saviour revealed his kindness and love. He saved us not because of the righteous things that we had done, but because of his mercy. So let me ask you a question this morning. How often do you get everything right? Every action of every day, how often do you have a perfect day? Whenever you don't do something which is wrong or misplaced or done the wrong way or done for the wrong reason, how often do we have a day like that? Every day is like that, isn't it? I would say probably there are very few, if anybody on this earth, who could say that they had a perfect day when they didn't do something that they either regretted or that they thought was wrong. Um, you know, it, it, that, that's our nature, isn't it? 
And yet we have the assurance that God saved us, not because of the righteous things that we had done, but because of his mercy. It's all about God. It's all about what he has done for us. It's not about what we have done. Because we can't do anything, sure we can't. We, we will get things wrong. But thank goodness, our salvation, God's grace does not depend on our actions, but it's about the actions of Christ. You know, that's so appropriate today on Pancake Tuesday, because tomorrow is the start of Lent. And it's the start of when we're going to be reading through the Gospel of John from tomorrow right the way through to Easter Sunday, um, reading about what Jesus did for us. Not what we have done, because what we've done doesn't count, but because of what he has done. It's amazing to think that our God loves us so much that Jesus came and died for us, isn't it? That he took our place so that we could have our sins forgiven. That's our God. That's his love. That should spur us on today. And that should encourage us to keep on going. Just like Paul's trying to encourage um, the, the readers of this letter to keep on going and to help others. So I pray for that for us all today. So let's pause and let's pray. Father, thank you again for today. Thank you again for your word. Lord, thank you that your grace and mercy do not depend on us, but it's all down to you. Lord, thank you for that amazing love which you have poured out onto us and which you continue to pour out onto us every single day. Lord, thank you. And continue with us now, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks for joining in this morning, folks. Um, from tomorrow then, we'll start and do the readings in Lent. Um, I did publish the, the plan on Facebook. If you would like it emailed to you, get in touch with myself or with... Um, Barbara in the office just to say that probably the best way is to phone her because the emails coming into church at the minute are a bit scatty um, there's a few problems with the email system um, so if you do need anything please phone rather than email or get in touch with me um, but yeah we're going to read reading through the gospel of John and then on Sunday between now and Easter Sunday we're going to be following a sermon series which is called worship in the wilderness um, it's something completely different so um, something exciting as well, just to, to make us sort of think about things. So please, if you can join with us on Sunday for that, do. And again, if you've got any videos of you waving, saying hello or whatever, please send them to me by email or by WhatsApp. I'm putting together for Sunday uh, and then we can all see each other waving again. Take care in the meantime. See you again tomorrow morning. God bless. Bye for now.